topic. Congratulations. Cheers Thank to you. 95 score. Uh, here's a score breakup. And it's a 98 percentile, of course. The score breakup is 94 percentile, 98 percentile, and 90 percentile in uh, verbal. And data insights, 93rd, 93 percentile. And uh, something that you mentioned in the email, that when you met Sandeep, sir, especially with the data insights that you mentioned that... Uh, um, I'm just going to be reading what you said here that I remember stating um, the ego problem with the questions while doing DI. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So this section, would you be able to just give me what happened? What is that last minute thing that you did uh, that kind of changed the game for you in data insights? All right. So basically uh, in data insights, Sandeep sir mentioned that, uh, you know, you get the three questions that you can answer later and when you move on. So he recommended doing that for MSR, multiple source reasoning questions. So for, for me, that wasn't the main problem. So what I was bad at was letting go of the question. So essentially, if once in a while you get a outlier, some graph, which is very hard to decipher. And in the end, you realize that it you didn't need to go through all the information and stuff. So during that process in like the main test, I like spent almost five, six minutes. And by the time I wasn't even able to get the question and I lost the time also. So because of that, like in the previous one, I scored 645. And okay. I just tanked that one section and I discussed that with Sandeep sir because I knew my problem, right? Then he just reiterated the same thing to me and I was like, damn. <laughs> it, there is that shock moment. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So, exactly. Uh, so, yeah, tell me. Yeah, so he was also like very nonchalant. He said like, okay, what were you expecting me to say? <laughs> so yeah, that was nice. All right. So in, in the exam, how many, now that you have the 695 score, do you recall how many questions did you get wrong in each of these sections? Yeah, I think surprisingly, so when I, I remember, I used to watch videos, you know, Sandeep sir used to take videos and all that. So people used to say that I had like five minutes, sit, I was sitting idle in verbal and stuff like that. And I was like, they must be lying. Come on. That can't be true. Right, right. So that same thing happened with me. Like I remember I had like three minutes in verbal. Uh, quants also finished early, three, four minutes and same for DI. So this time what I did differently for DI was, uh, I remember there was a moment when I was stuck in one question, similar graph question only. So it wasn't exactly a graph, but there was some logical, some schema. And you had to decipher it. So this time, what I made a mental note that, okay, I can leave three questions. No big deal. Like you're allowed to make a mistake. It's not a big deal. So I remember encountering that question and I just took one minute and I was like, okay, chuck it. Let's skip this question. So I just marked anything and just, I just moved ahead. In the end, like everything went well and I didn't even like need to, I opened that question again, but I wasn't able to get it. Yeah. So that happened. I can't help but notice something. You've written what? your t-shirt reads Ahankar. That's something ego, right? Yeah. And it's just striking. <laughs> Don't plan at all. <laughs> it is coincidental. But I was like, you know, isn't yeah. that what he just mentioned? Uh, Amazing. By the way, shout out to Ahankar. And nice absolutely. And, and that is across, right? Now, um, yeah. just give give a little bit background about yourself, Anishka. What are you what were you currently doing and what kind of just sparked this entire GMAT journey for you or an MBA journey for you? When did it happen? Yeah. So actually, I started a while back, almost a year back. So that's when I started. So for some reason, like I wasn't able to break through 700 score. So I was stuck at 680. I remember then the last time happened when I got 645, it's barely six, 700 on 710. And I remember uh, I was just going through everything, the mail thread. So I remember writing to Sandeep sir that, okay, I got 700 and I, and I think I might be going with this score only. And I wasn't planning to reappear, honestly speaking, because I thought, okay, some maybe it's not meant to be something like that. But uh, I don't know when I went to that uh, meet, there was a seed business school meeting. So that's when I saw all these people sharing, you know, with Sandeep sir, okay, I got 675, I got 75. I was like, damn, I would like to be one of those guys. So yeah, that's when I decided to reappear and everything went well this time. Also, like surprisingly, this was the time when I prepared the lease for it. Okay. Like surprisingly. Yeah. I remember, uh, so basically what they recommend is you make an error log and write everything, you know, where you went wrong and all that. So the problem with me was that I wasn't able to, you know, get interested just by reading it. So I wanted an image of the question and, you know, mm -hmm. so this time what I did was I just took screenshots of all the questions I did wrong and why I, why I went wrong. I just wrote on top of that. So I had a whole PPT. So I remember just before the exam, like the previous night, just go, I slept looking at it only <laughs> when like... I made mistakes in DI. Yeah. So yeah, I think DI was only holding me back and I figured it out this time. So that's how I. But you just uh, have to really take through the entire exam preparation as well uh, in terms of verbal, quant, and DI. What yeah. particular material kind of really stood out for you to come yeah. out, so uh, you know, have a break? Yeah, I get your point. So essentially, I followed top material only, honestly speaking. 
to the point i remember writing this mail also it's and these are like i have done these questions so many times that i already know the traps also so you know after a point you have done it so many times that you know okay there's a trap there's a trap so you you want more questions so yeah, that was also a problem so in the like in the end end time only i remember doing official mocks only so i had like i bought almost uh, four five mocks and you can give them twice so i gave that only and uh, like measured the mistakes i was doing and worked on them only so in quant i had no problem essentially it, in quant only silly mistakes only that were holding back in verbal i remember mm, doing cr so the plan that sandeep sir recommends works like a charm if you follow it diligently of course so you have to do focus practice then also mix practice just keep on doing question one after another and also it's important not just to just do question for the sake of doing it you must know where you went wrong because unless you work on that doesn't matter if you, even if you do a thousand questions if you work on yourself to the point that you know everyone is making decisions each and every moment right and once you realize for each and every question like what was that one decision that you took that led to the wrong or right answer choice if you figure out that point then i think it could do wonders right right and how about the top marks did you get a chance to use any of those uh, top marks uh, mock yeah mock i remember doing mocks but i honestly stuck to official mocks only that works with the best one Yeah. Right. Right. Um. So, oh, because then we've had so many, as in we, as in the faculty team, right? You must have yeah. had so many interactions with the faculty. How did you find the support overall? The yeah, support was excellent. I think. Uh, because like as soon as you mail them, they will reply in like three four hours tops. So that works very well. But I think still at the end of the day, you need to figure it out for yourself because you are making that choice. So unless there would be communication problem also, right? So maybe I'm not telling. the right reasons why i went wrong or maybe i'm not able to understand myself so how will i communicate to you right so i think introspection goes a long way and you have to be there for yourself i think that's what's the most important part so would you also be able to tell me about your personal timeline when yeah. uh, you know in terms of how many hours were you putting in every single day uh, when you yeah. were preparing and was there any point where you whether work or professional bit kind of came in between Could you just tell me about highlight about yeah. the number of hours? Of course, there were yeah, there were a lot of points when I wasn't able to keep up with the practice and all. But you have to push through it. I think that's the most important part. And it's not that every day like you have to do it, do it, do it. That happens only when you haven't mastered that particular topic, right? So once you gain mastery, for example, for points, I remember the last this uh, this time that I cracked it, I haven't even like opened a. Um, I just went through the formulas, nothing else, because. Or DS questions like one two. I just went through the PPT sheet, like where I did mistake and all. Because once you have mastered that subject, it takes hardly like a couple of hours to you know get back to the same point. So it's not like once you have mastered to a certain level, then you don't need that much time you know to get to same level back again. Yeah. So I think that helps a lot. But the initial phase of building, you have to be very diligent. That can't be skipped. Any 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 mantras like like this one you have? Any rituals or mantras that you had in in terms of your preparation? Like like what I hear a lot of students say that you know seven. One of the things that you've already mentioned when you went to see it, that I also want to have like a seven o five, and so there are yeah. students who would say that that you know in my computer it used to be business schools or in my I would have like a seven seven thirty five as a sticky notes something. Yeah, I've tried all that. <laughs> <laughs> I honestly have, and I would like to add to the myth, but I guess it's yeah. not skipping the hard work. It's it's just not happening, you know. And I remember because while doing the paper also you know even if the paper is going well because the test is adaptive you're constantly questioning yourself there is a little question in it is like okay maybe i'm doing all the questions wrong that's why the question like <laughs> but but you have to you know shut that voice and just focus on the question at that moment because Very nothing nice. can you have to answer the question right you can't you know there is no easy way you have to answer the question right but ye hua tha na tanish you let that voice once at least you were listening yeah of course question. you have to sometimes you know you get over yourself you're like okay maybe maybe this is a time maybe Maybe there's a mistake. Maybe you can do it. Yeah, I remember. I think Sir was also highlighting what you're trying to say is very important. Uh, yeah, exactly. Trying to listen to yourself, but then you need to shut it when when it's the right time to shut yeah, it. Exactly. Yeah, because at that time you have you just have to answer that question right. And if you don't do that, no matter what mantra you chant, whatever you do, it won't happen. So yeah. it, one, just tell me one thing, Tanish. Uh, over the entire period of your preparation, how many questions do you think in her section? How many questions have you solved? Like. There's a number, na, to it. Is practice is what you would say. Itna. Yeah. So I think in RC, I have like a lot. I think more than two hundred billion. Easy, easily right. more than two hundred billion. I don't keep track of it honestly. I'm not that kind of guy. You know, who, who writes every okay? I'll do ten questions every day. Yeah. Not like that with me. Um, but yeah, when I I just did a lot of questions. 
and wherever i felt that i needed to do more questions i focus on that part instead of you know yeah just going over the part where i'm good at again and again i just went more towards the part where i was bad at right so yeah no i'm asking again this question because a lot of students feel at some point to just give up right i mean you had a score and you said yeah. this is it and for yeah. you the turning point was perhaps the meet with sandeep sir at uh, business, at the seed business festival or was there anything yeah. else that kind of turned around for you you know i i think there is some more of practice that is left so this time i'll do it right was there what was the turning point yeah glad you asked that so i remember you know when i was going to all the different booths right only at the top booth there were so many people you know who were like okay i got this score i got this score at all the other booths they were like okay you have a decent score why don't you apply it's good enough but i think uh, you need that mindset shift honestly that okay it's worth it honestly it's worth it i think so if you are thinking of settling for a decent score i think it is worth it to you know give it one more shot and one more shot till you don't get that get that till you get it yeah exactly because then you want to make your uh, possibilities limitless if you're going to yeah. be settling for a score you're going to might as well settle for a school also some school right so yeah. that, that is what sir is all pushing towards you know from the the demographics of what country that we all come from if we have an indian passport that is yeah it's very tough i know yeah the competition is very high and unless you really yeah. get an absolute best then uh, you know then you're settling in all right so um what on the exam date uh, you mentioned a couple of points as well but were there any um, you know any unfamiliarity with the questions or uh, some no, nothing like that surprise? i was really surprised i was really surprised it, it was like i don't want to say it but the exam seemed easy i know it sounds scam i know <laughs> it's not like no okay now you are saying this but actually so i think the questions uh, i remember just zoning in i didn't even notice when the time was going so in my head i was just calculating okay i have Suppose I have done like twelve questions. I was calculating in my head. Okay, these many questions are remaining. This much time is remaining. So okay, I'm good right now. Just to keep track of it. Sometimes, uh, otherwise, I was like in full zone. So, so this is a question that I just ask flatly, because yeah. you just said it's been over a year since you've been preparing. Now, if you have to go back to that point, tell yourself, ah, uh, uh, you know, now that you've seen the score, you've got that score, and you're you know happy with that score. But if you all have to redo all over it again. um uh, what would be the absolute to do and to not do or to avoid the pitfalls that you would say to yourself as someone who is mm-hmm. going to be starting the preparation so that the the time is not one year you know yeah. <laughs> you know 3 3 three months or what it's supposed to be to 3 months yeah if if you are an ideal guy so if you can put in the work because i'm i'm not the disciplined kind honestly i'll admit it i'm not the disciplined kind but if you are then i think the path that sandeep said less that works tremendously well. like if you are disciplined if you do questions every day and you know you are that guy that make it or break it i'll do this question this time blah 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 then i think uh, you can do it in tremendously short amount of time but i'm i wasn't that guy so i did it all the hard way i explored all the doors and eventually found the one that worked for me right right so i mean I, it's a fantastic uh, you know conversation that i've had with you i, I feel There's there's a lot more. Obviously, we can we can speak maybe offline, um, especially around your application. But very quickly, are you looking to apply this year? And what schools are you looking? Yeah, for? of course. I I was just on the call with all three, like almost ten minutes ago. Yeah, so I'm so looking to apply. This round one, round two. Yeah, round one. I am unfortunately. I think I I'm already late for round one. So round two. Yeah. Any particular schools in mind? Um, Yeah, I, I aim for the stars. You'll reach moon. I don't know. <laughs> That's your uh, theory. All right. So here's wishing you all the very best, and I'm I'm glad that you have trusted Sandeep sir, and you've trusted him throughout until this point. It it becomes a bit um, overwhelming sometimes, and sometimes frustrating also. You know that ka I'm not getting the score or I'm not getting through uh, a certain section. But you really yep. kept it. You gave yourself. You challenged yourself. There was a breakthrough also. That's so good that it happened. And uh, thank you for. you know for not letting that trust go and trusting yourself also with this entire process um and he was wishing you all the very best i have to tell you that uh, not just me but the entire team at open percent including sandeep sir is extremely proud and that screenshot was obviously say, shared by sir himself so he's acknowledged the score is acknowledged yes. uh, you know this um, and he also passes this message uh, in any case if you know the time comes when we, have, we get to meet again we'll always do right um, yeah. best of luck and i hope the admit comes through whichever schools that you're working with or three you know he'll whip the magic for you and yeah, uh, thank you so much hope a bigger admit uh, by the end of this year or maybe yeah, for the so next year <laughs> let's see that uh, result i hope you share like how you did uh, with the score as well will be really routine yeah yes. yeah
Absolutely Glad. amazing, Hank. Yeah, bye-bye. Take care. Thank you so much. Take care, Tanish. Bye-bye. Bye. Bye.